Right, hopefully this is at the beginning of the video. Um, I'm recording this after recording. So this is an intro, I hope. How will I know it's an intro when I stick it together? Because I'm holding the vape up. Which I didn't do at the start, so that's not going to work. Anyway, this is the instruction to the BMW R1150RT. He says, reading it off the side of the bike. Called Rita. Now, it's called Rita because it's a BMW. And BMW stands for Bob Marley's wife. I didn't know this until my lovely good friend Marty Volgnit uh, told me. He said, BMW, Bob Marley's wife. So I looked up Bob Marley's wife, and her name is Alpha Rita, but Rita for short. So this bike is called Rita. So welcome to Rita. Thank you, Marty. Appreciate that. Um, I was going to call it Jonah the Whale or something because it's massive. Anyway, I <laughs> hope you enjoy the video if I get this in the right order. See you in a bit. Hello, just bring you back. Um, this is Rita. BMW R1150RT. 2003 vintage. Uh, I've just traded in the V-Strom 1000 for this and uh, just want to experience something different. So I've never had a BMW before, car or motorcycle and I just thought I'd see what they're all about and uh, they're certainly very very different from Japanese bikes I can tell that so um, Anyway, we'll have a bit of a look round. I uh, literally picked her up this afternoon from my mate Colin's motorcycle shop. It's all been prepared for me. He's changed the oil and filter, he's changed the air filter, he's changed the spark plugs, and he's checked the gearbox and final drive oil. He was about to change them, but he says uh, they are brand new, the oil's in them. There's not uh, any sign of age you think somebody's just done them so we've not changed the gearbox and the final drive oil which was something i was going to do and i was also going to change the air filter and the plugs but uh he's already done that for me um anyway let's just have a look around the beast i've taped up the number plate i don't know why i have to do that but everyone else does it so if you can let me know why we do this um i guess it's some sort of security thing but i've never bothered in the past um, yeah, so underneath all of this <laughs> mountain of luggage uh, is a f uh, flat twin boxer engine 1150cc, shaft drive, um, uh, dry clutch like a car, what else can I tell you about it? It's got an electronic up and down screen. Um, it's got really peculiar indicators, which take a bit of getting used to, but I'm sure I will. Um, it's got a bit of an airplane, an old, very old fashioned airplane cockpit. Uh, the lights can be adjusted when you've got weight on to up and down like a car. It's got fog lights, it's got heated grips from the factory, which work, luckily. Uh, the screen adjustment is on there. I'll Turn it on in a bit. The mirrors are down there, which surprisingly are take three seconds to get used to having your mirrors down there. Absolutely fine. Uh, speaker grills, so if you want to fit the stereo, the stereo would live in there on the ones that have the stereo. Uh, there's no speakers in them. Yeah, uh, my top box, it did have a top box on it, not a BMW one. It was a Givy and it was a tatty old thing. So he's put that on my V-Strom and I've used my V-Strom, V-Strom, my Givy top box with the backrest and stuck it on here. Um, not going to be using the top box really unless Tracy's with me. Um, tank bag, I didn't even know it had a tank bag but it's a proper, proper BMW one. I'm not, I don't do tank bags. I had one on the V-Strom and never ever used it. I had this sort of tank cover, the uh, 
bag lux tank cover with the big tank bag and never ended up using it so what I intend to do on this is take the top box off take the tank bag off keep that because it's BMW one so and just leave the panniers on the reason being they're the BMW factory fit panniers the bike looks really strange with them off I'll show you that in a bit and they are exactly the same width as the mirrors so if the mirrors pass the panniers pass so I think what I'm going to do is just leave the panniers on all the time uh, they're nice and sturdy they're massive uh, I'll try it out in a bit see if I can get a helmet in there um, yeah so I'll only put that on really as a backrest for when Tracy's on the bike so uh, I'll uh, stop now and then I'll come back and I'll show you some of the fiddly bits and start it up and um, oh it's got brand new tyres on because the front tyre was completely knackered the rear was about halfway worn so in with the deal I asked Colin just to fit two new tyres he'd have fitted the front anyway to get it through the MOT but I asked for the rear so but part of me asking for that I just said stick on whatever's economically viable for you because he's a mate and he did a really good deal so he's put on uh, a continental oh what did he say they were road attack or something conti motions mm. conti attack no idea how long they'll last but I'm sure we'll find out I don't think I don't think they're a sports tour entire so they'll probably just <laughs> it'll just eat that back I imagine but I don't know there's a new pair of tires that can that for free so I'll eat these and then put some pilot road twos on it no doubt um, it was rather interesting uh, it's been just pouring with rain for a week when I went to pick it up this afternoon it was pouring with rain brand new tyres um, it was not too bad driving from the bike shop to work because I, what I did is I nipped out from work this afternoon when I got it drove back to work wasn't too bad I took it really steady uh, but coming home uh, the roads were absolutely slippery and these were completely slippery being brand new and uh, it was interesting but I was also getting used to the fact that it's got ABS and servo assisted brakes um, completely alien to me so it's just a bit strange when you pull the brake lever in or the foot you press the foot pedal you can hear electronic servos um, servo assisting the brakes and the ABS and its dual linked brakes and everything all I can tell you is they are horrendously sharp brakes they're scary compared to what I'm used to so very very sharp scary brakes albeit it's got ABS plus brand new slippery tires with a coating on and extremely wet greasy roads typically look Where's all that torrential rain gone? It was a bit hairy coming back. Um, me also not being used to a dry clutch and where the gears are, the weight of the bike, the shaft drive, everything about it was uh, quite interesting, a bit twitchy, but uh, that was me, uh, me being twitchy, not the bike. Anyway, God, that's eight minutes of complete waffle. Let's have a closer look at it. I'm gonna catch my breath, I have a cup of tea. Right back. Um, okay, this is the little, the big little cubby hole, which is all black, so you can't see it. Yeah, cubby hole down there. So I'm going to put my waterproof trousers in there, as opposed to under the seat, so that I can get them out quickly. Also, I suppose it's going to be handy for. I was going to say handy for putting your wallet and stuff, but I always carry them in my jacket anyway. For some reason, I feel better with them. Uh, in my jacket 
there's uh, both of the seats are off I've just put my that's puncture repair kit and some tools and that stuck that in there and I've just noticed that the tool kit that was in it when I first looked at the bike is no longer in it now Colin's been doing some unwiring in here because it had some extra bits there was lights going to the uh, there was power going to the uh, the other top box so I guess he's took the tool box the tool pack out while he was doing so next time I nip in I'll say oi where's my toolbox toolkit so that's that uh, I've just took the right hang on calm down springy <laughs> let's get we get the seat back on the seat is adjustable three positions uh, and because I'm a I'm a I'm a short ass but I'm only short ass in my legs it's really weird I'm five foot ten or thereabouts uh, but my legs are like really short like 30 31 inch so I don't know how that works but anyway uh, yeah three three positions uh, it's on the lowest <laughs> I won't bore you with that so I'm gonna stick the seats back on uh, tank bag uh, it's not velcro down there and there's some some things here that the front hooks to the front of the tank bag yeah, it'll probably never ever ever get used by me but it's something that will go with the bike to its next owner because <laughs> you know I won't keep it <laughs> I'll try and get another MOT out of it try and get a year out of it right seats going on right first note to self front seat first then rear seat so believe that's in and then these lugs go in those holes and then it locks on that so ooh. okay right seat is on in lowest position what's next uh, I'll open the panniers then the key out whip them off so you can see the shaft drive bits uh, oh, there you go now she's naked Yeah, actually don't look too bad without them. I thought it looked a lot uglier than that without the bags, but yeah. It's quite cleverly done how they shape them around all the bits. But yeah. Hmm. Oh well, that's a, that's a bit fugly at the back, but hmm. Yeah. Well, maybe I won't be having the panniers on full time. I'm starting to get a bit of a better look at it now. Sir Sewer, as my friends from Northumberland say. Sewer? No, no, sewer. So I've been spending too much time with them at work. Starting to learn their language. Uh, right, what are we looking at? Lights, keys, flashing things. Uh, the ABS light comes on all the time until you're moving. I think it's five miles an hour before it goes out and that's fine. Uh, a bit freaky on my mate GS at work. The first time I fired that up and thought, oh no, his brakes are gone. So, sewer. Screen. Uh, down.
and jump down sports bike mode <laughs> massive sports bike mode do it from the side up and Torah mode headlights yeah there's two there's two fog lights in it as well main beams in the middle beam yeah it's super bright let's try the fogs don't know if the fogs work this is where I killed the battery of course yeah there's your fogs um, it has actually got a brand new battery in Turn them off. what else do I need to show you heater grips can't show you them <laughs> uh, you could feel them uh, start her up, I suppose. It's got a... It's fuel injected, but it's got a... Sort of fast idle, and a very fast idle, which doesn't stay fast idling. Uh, she should be warm enough to start. Don't need to pull the clutch in on this one. You also don't need to hold that for three seconds like I did. So, uh, right, that's with a fast idle on. got the uh, reassuring bike tilts with the um, shaft drive like my old CX500 Euro Sport used to do back in the early 80s anyway it's fast idle she's yeah sort of warm she's temperature obviously it's oil and air cooled so it's oil temperature fuel um, uh, gear selector one to six. I need to change the clock. It is eight forty. Hmm. Oh well. If it's eight forty, it's eight forty. Anyway, so I need to change the clock. Uh. Yeah. The strange indicators. Well, there's each one's on left and right and then that's the cancel there uh, so just put the hazards on and there the front ones are the back of the mirrors which I think is quite smart uh, yeah the rear ones looks a bit like a some uh, uh, manta ray or something hammer headed shark or something weird or is that just me I'm weird All oh, right, that's yeah, all good. That's green now. Yeah. The next time I take her out, I might just take her out in this guise. Um, this, let me turn that off. This top case box holder, I've got a feeling it's too far back. What I'm going to have to do is put the top case on, get Tracy to sit on, see where she feels. She's used to having this backrest quite far forward because she's tiny and it just supports reassuringly supports her back so but that's all it's all adjustable it's just lots of different slots and holes I'll, I'll figure it out but it seems it seems a bit of a long way back anyway I'll, uh, I'll chuck the boxes back on it open them up so you can have a look inside
Right, I can sort of, sort of fit my helmet in these cases, sort of. I'd probably have to do a bit of fiddling with them. Traces would go in, but mine's a bit mahoosive. Because I've got a fat head. These are, that's locked, that's locked, and that's off. They come on and off really easy. They're very, 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 they just pop straight on. No fuss. As long as you've got the key. <laughs> so that locks the door. And that just locks it all down. So. Well, anyway, still looks fine with the bags on. Um, like I say, it's, they're the same width as that, which incidentally is uh, an inch or two narrower than they were on the V-Strom, because the V-Strom had all the extra scaffold and then the boxes. But yeah, they're the same size. Looks bigger this end, I've actually measured it. It's exactly 36 inches, I think, widest point, both ends, which is nice for me little narrow gaps. Uh, what else, what else, what else? I think that'll do you for now. Um, still doing the outage at work, so it's going to be about another six weeks before I get any time off. Uh, I don't get home till sort of eight o'clock in the evenings, sometimes a bit earlier. So I'm not going to be doing a lot on this really fortunately it's all it's MOT'd, it's insured it's taxed it's serviced it's running um it's nothing to do to it at the moment but you know me i'll have it apart as soon as that outage is finished i'll be getting into this and oh there is one thing actually uh one of the forks one of the forks looks like it's developed a leak. Yeah. Uh, can't see it. Anyway, this fork's got a leak. This fork hasn't, so I will probably pop it back down to Colin for an afternoon. And no doubt Colin will just change the fork seals for me. Um, yeah, I know it's a job I should do myself, but I'm working 13 hours a day, so it ain't gonna get done by me. And he'll, put, he'll do that anyway, as part of the thing, because he's a bloody nice bloke. Um, yeah, anyway, I'll put it away now. Or might just sit here and have a vape and look at it for a bit. Thank you very much. I've been Springy, and I'll see you next time unless I do a little ending to camera right I finally got myself a, a chair in the garage well, it's a pneumatic bar stool which <laughs> I've got on the wonky bit of the floor right that's it it's uh God, it's five to nine in the evening. Uh, I haven't set the time clock yet. Uh, I've got to do some things on this bike, uh, which is where you are. The bike's there. Um, yeah, I want to set the clock, daytime clock. I'm not going to do that now. Uh, what else? Oh, I need to find out the easiest way to get to the batteries. Brand new batteries just put on it, but I need to put a, a tail on it for my Optimate charger, Oxford Oximizer. I don't think you see that one up there. There's one up there, one on over there. Um, at least I think, because on the left-hand side of the bike, there's some power outlets and things. I really haven't done my homework. I've got a Haynes manual for it, 
the day after I bought it. Uh, but yeah, there's lots of things I need to discover. Uh, oh, actually, in the book pack, all the owner's manual, uh, sorry, owner's handbook, and all the service history and all the other stuffs in there. So, the owner's manual, owner's owner's handbook, will be good reading tonight after I've had a bath, and I'll be able to discover discover how all the little bits work. Um, I'm too tired to do this. Right, I'm going to shut the phone down, go in, and uh, see you in a, next time. I'll update you, see if I found the the battery easiest route, if I put a tail on it, or whether there's another way of connecting the charge to it. There's some stuff on the side of the bike where you can you can jump start the bike uh, by a terminal two terminals on the side of the bike so you don't have to get underneath all the bodywork for the battery there's like terminals on the side of the bike on the rubber caps which uh, my mate at uh, work showed me on his GS when we were bump starting it bump starting it? jump starting it oh, my head's frazzled looking after 70 school children sorry fully grown scaffolders every day for the last six weeks and for the next six weeks eight weeks four months it's getting big now right i need to stop looking because every time i look i see things i'll see you next time i'm springy peace and love ride safe don't go out in the very very wet on brand spanking new tyres on a bike you've never really ridden before apart from around a car park. Um, yeah, be careful, unlike me. See you later.